Ah, Tetris Attack, easily one of my favourite puzzle games of all time. Getting those high chains is just so satisfying. Looking at my cartridge here, you wouldn't think this game has anything to do with Yoshi, but it does. Yoshi and the enemies from Yoshi's Island accompany every stage in the game. But this wouldn't be version differences without some, well, differences, right? What if I told you that the Japanese version didn't have a thing to do with Yoshi, and instead featured several female fairy characters, and the game was named Panel Dipon? Well, it doesn't really matter if you believe me, because it's true either way. All of the fairies were replaced with the Yoshi characters in the international releases for brand recognition. The exact same reason they slapped Tetris on the title screen, even though this game has nothing to do with Tetris. Well, that and Nintendo probably didn't want to alienate the male demographic that was still afraid of cooties. First, let's have a look at the title screens. No differences here. So, the only- oh, I'm kidding of course. The title screens are completely different. This here is Lip, the main character in Panel Dipon. Remember the Lips Stick item in Smash Bros? Well, this is the game where it's from. Nothing here was reused for the international releases, not even the push any key text. Let's have a quick look at both of the intros. Nintendo! Man, even the NINTENDO sound clip at the start was changed. In fact, since every character was changed, all of the voice samples were changed. Let's quickly go through all of them. You can tell which sound is from which game, because in Panel Upon, the characters' mouths actually move, whereas the Yoshi characters have been turned into ventriloquist dummies. <laughs> Now as I was saying before I interrupted myself because of that bad joke, the only difference between the PAL and American versions of Tetris Attack is that the PAL version still has the coloured controller buttons, and the American version changed them to purple, to match their controllers. While we're on the tutorial screen, the music playing here is actually Lip's theme. It plays Lip's theme in both Tetris Attack and Paneled Upon. Lip's theme also plays during her stage in Paneled Upon, but was replaced in Tetris Attack with a remix of the prologue music from Yoshi's Island. Let's go over some of the visual differences in the stages now. Not that these really affect anything, but it's still interesting to see what was changed. On Lip's stage here, the background was redrawn, and the colour of the leaves has been changed. The little flower up top has also been removed. In stage 2, Windy was replaced with a Lakitu. The generic birds were replaced with Fly Guys. In Stage 3, Theana was replaced with Poochie, and this hamster thing was replaced with a monkey. In Stage 4, Elias was replaced with Froggy, and the Kappa was replaced with a crab. They also removed the Flower Lily. In Stage 5, Flare was replaced with a Blarg. They also replaced... whatever this thing is with two Flamer Guys. In Stage 6, Saren was replaced with Raphael the Raven. Some Shy Guys were also added. The star from Saren's staff is still here, it was just moved slightly. Also, if you look closely, the colour of the star down here and the jewels at the top has been slightly changed. I guess only the localization team knows why. Back to the main menu, you might notice something is missing. Panel Dupon only has four options, where Tetris Attack has five. Panel Dupon is missing the options menu. 
There isn't too much of interest in the options menu. You can look at some character bios and listen to a sound test. What makes this difference interesting though, is the fact that Paneled Upon actually does have the options in its data. There's just no way to access them without a cheat device. It's fully functional too, so why it was removed is beyond me. Let's move on to the versus mode. This is essentially the story mode of the game. Right off the bat, watch what happens when I select it in each version. As you can see, Paneled Upon doesn't actually have passwords for the versus mode, but it still has the passwords for the line clear and puzzle modes. This isn't the only change in versus mode though. Since the main character has been swapped, we have a new sprite as well as a new design for the main character's area. Also, a running sound effect has been added for Yoshi. Now what about the stages themselves? Well, they remain majoritarily unchanged. The character sprites are swapped between versions in the background and up top. Except for this one stage, in which the gem themed stage was swapped out for another grassy stage for Wriggler. Now that I think about it, couldn't they have just used Monty Mole for this gem stage? He would have fit in good. In Paneled Upon, each character's junk block is different and themed around that character. One fairly minor change is that in Tetris Attack, no matter what character you're using, the junk blocks are always these red and blue colours. But the minor changes just keep on rolling. In Tetris Attack, there's victory music in the versus mode. However, in Paneled Upon, the panic music just keeps on going. Kinda awkward if you ask me. If you're having a hard time with hard mode like me here, then you'll probably see the game over screen a few times. In Tetris Attack, this is what it looks and sounds like. And this is what it looks and sounds like in Paneled Upon. Interestingly enough, Paneled Upon actually has three different music tracks it can play on the game over screen, while Tetris Attack only has the one. If you manage to get to the final stage of hard mode, you get to verse Bowser in Tetris Attack and Cordella in Paneled Upon. In the end, it turns out Cordella is Lip's mother, and she was testing her to see if she was ready to become queen. Or something like that, anyway. Now, I'm fairly sure that Bowser isn't Yoshi's mother. So in Tetris Attack, Bowser is just being a generic bad guy, as per usual. Now, this wouldn't be version differences without some kind of obscure Japanese-only peripheral, right? Introducing Yoshi No Panel Pond. This game was released exclusively for the Satellaview service. For those who don't know, Satellaview was an add-on for the Super Nintendo that let you download games from Nintendo servers and store them on your BSX cartridge. Yoshi no Paneled Upon is one of those games. This is the exact same game as Tetris Attack, but instead of English, it's in Japanese. And apart from the language, there really isn't any other differences to talk about. Well, except for down here on the title screen, it advertises the Game Boy version. <laughs> that's about it. And that's everything I have to show you guys about Paneled Upon. It's a shame this series hasn't gotten too much love of late. There was a Western-only Pokemon version for Nintendo 64, a Japanese-only puzzle collection on GameCube, and there was also a version on DS. Ah well though, I can always play Pokemon Puzzle Challenge on my 3DS via the wonders of Virtual Console. But damn this game sucks, there just isn't enough room for the lines. I'll stick with Tetris Attack. <laughs>